Is there such thing as 100% pathogen-free food? No, there's not. And there never is anything that's 100% risk-free. But we're here at the SADEX facility in Sioux City, Iowa, to learn about a technology called irradiation. It's a process where they use a small amount of ionizing radiation, and they treat food products and feed products to kill the bacteria that are in those products. The irradiation of food also safely reduces spoilage bacteria, insects, and parasites. In certain fruits and vegetables, it inhibits sprouting and delays ripening. And our astronauts have been eating irradiated food since the beginning of the space program. So let's join Harlan Clemens, President and COO of SADEX, and take a look around the facility, find out what irradiation is all about, and the potential it holds for a safer food supply. The GAO did a report back in 2000, and they're reviewing that report, that they, where they found that at least 99.9% .9 of harmful pathogens, such as E. coli 0157H7, the different types and strains of salmonella, listeria, campylobacter, all are reduced by at least 99.9 to 99.9% .9 using irradiation. And the CDC reports that there's going to be additional types of bacteria and, and pathogens that are going to be uh, mainstream. Some of these are becoming antibiotic resistant. And with that, the only real source to, to take care of those pathogens is through radiation. Um, we've had people in the USDA, we've had people in, uh, in the CDC, as well as the FDA come out and say, if you're going to grow something in the dirt next to irradiating it or cooking it, you're not going to make that product safe because those pathogens will survive. And if a consumer takes them in and if they have a compromised immune system, they're going to get sick. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates that productivity losses as a result of foodborne illness amount to $37.1 billion annually. Furthermore, recalls of contaminated food have resulted in severe economic losses to the affected industries. While irradiation can help us protect our food supply, are irradiated food products safe for our consumption? And with regards to the, the safety of irradiation, um, you know, a lot of products are irradiated. Uh, Consumers, I don't think, realize the importance of irradiation. Sunlight is a form of radiation. Um, they actually receive, you know, standing out sunlight, you receive a certain dose, and, and medi uh, medical doctors suggest that you receive a certain percentage of that. Um, when you get into certain types of food products, a lot of food products are treated with UV light, which is a form of irradiation. So from the standpoint of safety, irradiation is just another term, you know, Potentially, I, I think the term is, is misconceived that a person is receiving a dose of radiation, but there's actually no dose uh, involved with regards to anything, any residual from the irradiation. In, in the case of electrons, it's simply electricity that the, uh, the electrons have been pulled off of that passes through the product that disrupts the DNA pattern. Same thing with the cobalt. The products don't actually come in contact with cobalt. It is just a form of... Uh, uh, radiation that's given off from that cobalt. So the products are actually not radioactive, they're very safe. Um, consumers uh, use those products on a daily basis and they don't realize that. With the exception of spices, where irradiation is a common practice, less than 1% of all food products are currently irradiated. When we look at the non-food product sector though, the technology is commonly used. Uh, Non-food products that are irradiated that consumers use every day would be eye solutions that for contact solutions that product is immediately absorbed into, the, to the, your uh, into your body through your eyes. Other types of things are feminine hygiene, cosmetics are irradiated uh, for safety to eliminate bacterias, um, baby bottle uh, nipples, um, pacifiers, toothbrushes, uh, band-aids, um, various types of uh, cotton swabs and things like that as well. During irradiation, products are exposed to carefully controlled amounts of ionizing radiation for a specific time to achieve a certain desired objective. This process causes chemical, not nuclear, changes and is very similar to the conventional cooking and preservation methods that we commonly use. All irradiated products do need to be labeled as being irradiated and carry the irradiation seal. This misconception that irradiation is, you know, a, a bad term, and potentially maybe it is. Um, you know, there was a decision several years ago, 40 or 50 years ago, that, that said irradiation was an, uh, was an additive. And, and really you're not adding anything to that product. Um, there's been talk about whether the wording should be cold pasteurization, electronic pasteurization, and maybe those are better terms from the standpoint of how we're treating the product 
with regards to, to making it safe. I think the key is, is that the consumer is aware that their products are safe. Food irradiation can be an important tool in our war against illness and death from foodborne diseases. We do need to remember, though, all irradiated products need to be stored, handled, and cooked in the same way as we handle our non-irradiated food products. So, from Sadex Corporation here in Sioux City, Iowa, I'm Sarah Muirhead with Feedstuff's Food Link. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.